Welcome to this video about the Power Profiler Kit from Nordic Semiconductor. In this video, I will show you how you can use our Power Profiler Kit with our new software to quickly measure the current consumption of your application. For the rest of this video, we assume that you have installed the latest version of NRF Connect. To start off, launch NRF Connect. You will find the software for the Power Profiler in the Add Remove section of the app. To download and install the application, click Install. When this is finished, we will find a newly added Power Profiler application in the Launch App section of NRF Connect. To start it, click Launch. Before we start measuring, we need to set up the hardware. Make sure you have cut the solar bridge for the NRF current measurement of your development kit before you continue. First, connect your power profiler kit on top of an NRF development kit. Set the power select switch in the DK position. Set the DUT select switch in the DK position. Also make sure that your COM switch is set to DK. After this is done, insert the USB connector into the development kit USB port. Now you can power on your development kit. LED2 on the power profiler will now light up and any application on your development kit will start. To avoid any connection issues, you should connect your USB directly to the computer and avoid using USB hubs or similar. When the hardware is ready, you can click Select Serial Port and choose the serial number corresponding to your development kit. After some initial setup, the Start button will change color and we can now click Start to look at the power consumption of your application. Now we have information about the visible data's window size, the average current consumption, the maximum and the charge. The application currently measured is a Bluetooth Low Energy Beacon, which is turning on and off an LED every 2 seconds. This can also be seen from the irregularities in the current consumption. If we want more details for this specific area, we can pause the chart by either zooming or clicking pause. To place markers, we hold shift and click and drag the mouse cursor. Now the calculations will be updated for the marked area and here we can also confirm that there are 2 seconds between each use of the LED. When we are done using the markers, we click Clear Marker. We can also zoom in using our mouse wheel to get more details. We can pan by clicking and dragging and also use the right mouse button to click and drag to zoom along both axes. To resume the chart, we zoom out to a desired level and right click or click live. If we want to clear the average chart, simply stop and start the average. The Power Profiler application consists of two charts. On the top, we have the average chart, which will give you continuous real-time current measurements. And on the bottom, we have the trigger chart. The trigger chart will give you a high resolution set of data of whenever the current consumption reaches the trigger level set here. 
In our case, it is set to 1 mA. If we click single, we can see it is triggering on a radio event. If we compare this to our average dataset, we can see that the trigger chart gives a much higher resolution. We can also do continuous triggering by clicking start. And if we want to use the markers for the trigger chart, we need to remember to stop it before using the markers. We can still see that the average numbers for both charts are similar. If we want to see more data for each triggered event, we can adjust the window size up to 52 milliseconds. The trigger chart is used for getting more detail about specific events while the average chart gives a better overview of the total application performance. At the top of the average chart, we have a bar showing the available data buffer. When the data view is paused by either zooming, panning or clicking pause, a red bar is growing, indicating that data is filling up the buffer. The maximum buffer size is dependent on the zoom level, so if we zoom out, the available buffer will decrease. When the buffer is full, the average data stream will be stopped. This is indicated by the average button, which has switched from stop to start, and we can also see in the log that average has stopped. By clicking start, the chart will be cleared and the measurements resumed. The Power Profiler Kit has a voltage regulator which is used when measuring external devices. This can be adjusted from the application. The supported voltage range is from 1.8 to 3.6 volts. If we want to power off the device we are measuring, we simply click Power Off. We will still receive measurement data, but the DUT or device under test will be off. Resume the DUT by clicking power on. That is all for now. Thank you for watching.